Welcome back to BBC News. And this Wednesday, we mark International Women's Day, an opportunity to celebrate the achievements of women and also reflect on the global challenge of gender equality. In the most recent Gender Gap Index report released by the World Economic Forum, Japan ranked 116th overall out of 146 countries. Our correspondent Shaima Khalil sat down with the first female mayor of one of Tokyo's biggest districts. She says challenging Japan's male-dominated politics is a difficult but necessary job. This is not your average Japanese politician. Satoko Kishimoto is an outsider challenging the status quo. After living in Belgium for the last decade, Ms. Kishimoto has become one of only three female mayors in Tokyo's 23 main districts and the first in the history of the Suginami area. In June, the former environmental activist and democracy advocate beat the conservative incumbent by a narrow margin. She tells me the first few months on the job have been a rough ride. As a woman, and especially fairly, fairly young, I am not from bureaucracy, bureaucrats, I'm not a politician. So then uh, automatically, you know, like uh, the, it's difficult. Issues like climate change, diversity, you know, uh, the, the gender equality, of, uh, the, of course, um, has been challenged by the kind of older politics or like, uh, you know, the, the boys club. In her own district, most of the senior political posts below that of mayor are occupied by men with women making up just over 2% of Japan's local leaders, being a female mayor is a lonely job. The women's representation have stayed almost the same from 75 years. This is quite insane. In Japan, what is the most difficult for women to, to challenge the, the political life is because they have to do a lot of care work. We have to recognize as a national crisis, you know, like this underrepresentation of women in politics. Japan is the world's third largest economy, yet it has an abysmal record when it comes to women in politics, ranking at the bottom 10 of 146 countries. And yes, the traditional social norms here make it very difficult for women to pursue a political career. But those who do have to deal with misogyny and harassment. This group of researchers and female politicians is trying to change that. They're hoping that their confidential online consultations will encourage more women to brave the world of politics. Because I've been public about my experience with harassment, other women have told me about what they went through. I think almost everyone has experienced it. Being showered with insults by older men or being touched inappropriately, for example, it was a wake-up call for me. The government has been regularly criticised for not doing enough to encourage more women to get into politics, with some arguing that the male-dominated cabinet and ruling party are part of the problem. There are some rare success stories, but it will take generations for women to get equal seats at Japan's top decision-making table. Shaima Khalil, BBC News, Tokyo.